Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to this lecture on transition metal organometallic chemistry from principles to applications. In the last few lectures we have been discussing an important class of transition metal organometallic compounds mainly the transition sigma alkyl complexes and we are looking at various facets of this particular chemistry. We looked at how these compounds were synthesized what are the reactivity, what are the stability issues with respect to the compounds and how these issues can be resolved by understanding the mechanism by which these compounds decompose. We also uh, looked in the last few lectures as to methods uh, which are available in enhancing the stability of these sigma alkyl complexes. And with that in the background we are going to discuss something very interesting in today's lecture which are the applications of this transition metal sigma alkyl complexes. To begin with I am going to uh, talk about organo rhenium oxides. These are mainly sigma alkyl complexes having main group elements in ligands as ligands along with the sigma alkyls. As uh, uh, discussed in our previous class, this can be rhenium trioxomethyl or rhenium methyl oxo peroxo or trimethyl. rhenium oxo. These alkyls are present along with various kinds of oxo trioxo complexes uh, uh, trioxo ligands attached to rhenium. Now these compounds sort of uh, gives rise to a special kind of uh, compounds particularly uh, the one discussed over here. These are called MTO or methyl trioxo rhenium. These MTOs are versatile compounds that are stable in water and also acts as a, a catalyst for various important oxidation reactions. So, MTOs are versatile, hard Lewis acids as the metal is in very high oxidation states water soluble. This is also kind of interesting that organometallic compound where there is a met, uh, rhenium methyl group uh, still the compound is soluble in water and can act as, as both stoichiometric as well as catalytic. reagents in, in important reactions like olefin oxidation bare villiger oxidation
olefin metathesis, olefination of aldehydes, So what we see that methyl, rhenium, trioxides compounds of this formula are, are very important reagents. These are sigma alkyl transition metal complexes. They are hard Lewis acids. because of high oxygen state of rhenium and they act as catalyst, catalytic as well as stoichiometric reagents. in oxidation reactions and another important property of these compounds are that they being uh, bound to three heteroatoms are also water soluble. This is something uh, which is unthinkable for many organometallic compounds because we think tend to think that organometallic compound with it will instantly or immediately decompose in water. So, this class of compounds are extremely good uh, uh, catalyst as well as reagent for various oxidation reactions. They are hard Lewis acids. A very nice application of transition metal sigma alkyl complexes is in form of these compounds. Let us take a look at how these uh, MTOs are synthesized usually by two methods, the first one being with di uh, dialkyl zinc, zinc being the alkyl transfer reagent. At low temperature giving Similarly, the other method involved treating of rhenium oxide with CLSIME3 in THF eliminating giving the chloro rhenium trioxide which when alkylated with tri n butyl tin methyl give this methyl rhenium trioxide. So, these two methods are very useful methods for preparing these compounds. Now, having seen the application of transition metal sigma alkyl complexes, we are going to take up Another very interesting 
topic in terms of application of this complex, which is the CH activation. CH activation is a topic of contemporary research and is a very challenging area. And it is challenging because one CH bond is very high. That means that CH bond is very strong bonds and difficult to cleave. Second thing, CH bond is so ubiquitous that selectivity becomes an issue. So, that is why CH activation is a problem which is yet to be solved fully. Now, CH activation offers certain advantages and that has been achieved by binding of transition metal to the CH bonds leading to functionalization. So, the activation of unreactive CH bonds by binding to transition metals can be used for functionalization and that means utilization of fossil hydrocarbons. So, this has tremendous, this aspect has tremendous commercial value and hence CH activation is a topic which is of contemporary interest. Let me illustrate the various possibilities, exciting possibilities that CH activation can give. For example, it can convert CH4 and carbon dioxide to give acetic acid which is an attractive target so methane being inert is difficult to functionalize and carbon dioxide is produced a lot in the industry. So, this can give rise to utilization of CH4 and CO2 to produce something useful in the form of acetic acid 
and that can be used for making many other value added chemicals. Similarly, one can obtain another important compound, for example, from CH4 to produce methanol. So, all of these have tremendous commercial interest in terms of let us say production of methanol from methane or acetic acid from methane and are being actively, actively pursued in industry and academia alike. And for this reaction, C CH functionalization provides a uh, attractive solution to this very challenging problem. And in this context, it can be stated that intermolecular CH functionalization is even more, more is very challenging and difficult as compared to the entire intramolecular CH functionalization. Now, with this background in mind, we are going to look at CH functionalization both at the intramolecular as well as intermolecular levels and study some of the examples related to it in order to get a appreciation of how difficult this particular area is. At the outset, one must say that CH activation to transition metal is thermodynamically unfavorable as compared to hydrogen-hydrogen addition to a weaker metal carbon bond. H H bond to and this can be illustrated for example, if there is L M and it activates dihydrogen then one forms dihydride the enthalpy is negative for such reaction stating that this is enth enthalpically favored. Whereas, the same reaction for a CH bond leading to metal alkyl hydride has delta H greater than 0 or delta H equal to 0. And that means that this addition is less 
favorable and h h addition is more favorable and the primary reason for this h addition being less favorable is that m c bond is a weak bond and hence not much of enthalpic gain is realized when a metal carbon bond is formed as opposed to a metal hydri hydride bond. So, metal carbon bond is a weak bond that sort of com cannot compensate for the strong bond that is broken when a metal hydrogen bond is cleaved. So, this uh, CH bond which is very strong is broken and a weak MH bond is formed. As a result, the delta H is usually positive or at the best thermally neutral and hence this indicates that this CH addition to transition metal is thermodynamically unfavorable. There are few sigma alkyl transition metal hydrido complex which undergo spontaneous alkane elimination. That means that this alkyl hydride complex is so unstable that they eliminate to give back an alkane. For example, this bis cyclohexyl phosphine nickel hydride alkyl complex spontaneously undergo alkane elimination. meaning that this complex is very unstable. In the hindsight, the metal carbon bond in metal methyl moieties are generally 40 to 60 kilojoule per mole weaker than metal hydrogen bonds. Now, of the CH activation which itself is very challenging because of extremely weak metal carbon bonds which are formed and because of the fact that ex extremely strong metal hydrogen bonds are broken, let us take a look at different types of CH activation that may possibly occur. It can be intramolecular as well as it can be intermolecular. Of these, the intermolecular CH activation are more difficult as compared to the intramolecular one. 
and in this discussion we are going to take up in more details each of these type of in CH activation processes. To begin with let us talk about intramolecular CH activation. This mainly is observed in oxidative addition of CH bond of an aromatic ring to transition metal. An example is given over here. So, iridium one complex chlorine and three phosphate iridium undergoes intramolecular CH activation to give the following iridium 3 complex so since the ch here the oxidation state of iridium has changed from iridium 1 to iridium 3 because it underwent the oxidative addition and also one of the phenyl rings of this PPH 3 moiety got activated. So, this hydrogen and this carbon this CH bond is sort of got activated. The coordination number increased from 4 over here to coordination has number increased to 6 over there and since the CH bond which got activated is ortho to the phosphine this kind of reactions are called ortho called ortho metallation. Or cyclometallation. So, with this I would like to summarize the point that we have discussed in this le uh, today's lecture. We have looked into applications of various sigma alkyl complexes. To start with, we st uh, looked into organorhenium trioxide type complexes. We have look looked into how these complexes were synthesized and also the various kind of applications of this uh, rhenium alkyl trioxo complexes. Following that we looked into the CH activation processes which can re result in CH functionalization which is a very challenging area and then we have looked into various kinds of CH activation processes that are involved to start with we looked into intramolecular CH activation particularly that of cyclometallation uh, or orthometallation that uh, uh, is shown over here. With this we come to the end of today's lecture and we are going to take up this interesting topic of CH activation in bit more detail uh, in next lecture and look into various possible uh, uh, reactions and discoveries made in this area of CH activations which is of tremendous industrial as well as academic uh, interest. With that I thank you for being with me in this lecture and I look forward to being with you in ne uh, next lecture discussing uh, various nitty gritty details of this interesting CH activation reactions of transition metal sigma alkyl complexes. Thank you.